Hey everyone, Matt here from Wi-Fi Ninjas. We do wireless podcasts and wireless blogs. But one of the questions that I get asked a lot of the time is, are there any apps on iOS that I can quickly check and see what the Wi-Fi is like whenever I'm out and about or on site? And now Apple don't seem to want to give developers access to the core infrastructure of the Apple devices to be able to get all of the information that you could possibly get from say um, a MacBook Pro or a Android device even. But there are a couple of free ways that we can see some information about the Wi-Fi on your iOS devices. And I'm gonna show you two free ways that you can do that. So the first application that I will be showing you is an app called App Airport Utility. So you can download this from the App Store. And what you'll notice in the top right hand corner is a thing there's a there's a Wi-Fi scan. But before you can do a Wi-Fi scan, once you installed Airport Utility, you will need to go over to your settings and then find the airport utility application and then make sure you have Wi-Fi scanner enabled. When I first installed this, it's it was off by default and I couldn't find a way to do the Wi-Fi scan until I came here and, and enabled this. So if I just head back to the airport utility app now, we can see that I have the option for the Wi-Fi scan so I can hit Wi-Fi scan and this will pop up now and then I get a top right hand corner option for scan. So if I hit scan and give it a few seconds, it will start to scan my wireless environment on my iPhone. And this will give us a list of SSIDs, MAC addresses, RSSIs, channel information, and that's pretty much that's pretty much it, I'm afraid. Um, so once you've done your scan for a little while, you can hit stop. And once you've finished hitting with your scan, the bot you have a couple of options again now. You can see in the bottom right hand corner, I have a little I for information. Once you hit the I on your um, scan, you can see how many devices are on each channel. So on the 2.4 gigahertz, we can see that I had 10 devices. Uh, five of them are on channel one, one device on channel six, and then four on channel 11. But on then on the five gigahertz, I have 10 devices as well. So eight devices on channel 36. Uh, one device on channel 52 and then one device on channel 100. So for a long time, this was the only way that we could see some information on the app on your iPhone. Um, but now if you have installed a developer profile from Apple, which we found out about from the Mr. Dan Jones, if you create a developer account with Apple uh, and then you go over to the website, you can download this uh, Wi-Fi performance diagnostics profile. And um, it's pretty simple. You just select the profile you want to download. It will download it, ask you to install it. You have to, you have to give some consent to Apple to, for the terms and conditions. And then once it's installed, you'll see it pop up in your settings and then you can remove it if you want. But this is another way that we can see some Wi-Fi information on our iOS devices. So if I now come out and go to my settings, and then go to Wi-Fi, where I have my SSID Wi-Fi Ninjas. If I click on the little information icon and then go to Diagnostics, we can see here the channel information, uh, the signal strength It's giving us uh, a green, here, like a traffic light system. So say if my uh, Wi-Fi was pretty poor, it would move down to red and it would say, it would say poor. And then what we can see here is also um, what security I'm using, if I've got a captive portal, deployment multi-AP, so that means that I have one, I have more than one access point um, here that I could potentially be connected to. And my connectivity for the gateway tells you if it's fast and same for my for my internet. Uh, also, it gives us information here and like if it, like I said, for the traffic light system for the signal strength, if that if it was poor or slow, then you would see that there as well, reflected with a red color. So that was just a couple of free ways that you can see some Wi-Fi information on your Apple iOS devices. I will do a follow-up video where there's a couple of paid for device uh, applications that you can run on iOS that you can see some more information. Um, 
yeah but that was it for now so feel free to give them a download and a try and let me know what you think